Hey guys, Tony from Network Optics. I'm gonna walk you through real quickly how to do the uh, NX Witness Paxton integration. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, a couple of things before we begin. Number one, you need to install this plugin um, on the machine that's running the Paxton client. Um, and that's to allow you to view video inside the Paxton client. Uh, you do not need to install it on the Paxton server. Um, the other thing is that make sure that the, the client machine you're installing on has the same time as the Paxton server to avoid any sort of time offset problems. So to begin, double click on the installation package, choose run, accept the license agreement because there's nothing nefarious there, press install, wait for Windows to catch up, press yes, um, and then the installation will take like three to five seconds to finish, choose finish. Um, Open up your Paxton client and log in. Um, go to options, choose camera integration, and then press add and choose the system, NX Witness. And then go to um, the host name. Host name is the URL or the IP address of one of your NX Witness system servers. Um, you'll need to use a username and a password that has uh, archive viewing rights. Um, for this demo, we set up a Paxton user with those rights. So go ahead and press that and then press detect. Um, if your address is correct, you should be able to see a list of cameras that are available in that system. Go ahead and press apply and OK. Go to your doors. Uh, choose the door you would like to do uh, integration with. Um, choose camera integration. This is the front door. We're going to choose the front door camera. Press apply. IT room, same thing. I'm going to choose the IT room door. Press apply. Uh, side doors, same thing. Going to choose the side doors. Press apply. And we're done. Now, in order to actually view the events, you need to go to the events section. Um, you, can, you can see right now there's no cameras. That's because you know, most of this is operator changes. So I'm going to just go to search for. Uh, front door So now you can see all my events that have happened at the front door um, So I've got cameras icons available um, On all events if I've got if I've done the integration later on uh, Like let's say I installed the NX witness system first and then I do the packs in the system at the same time But I haven't installed a plugin. No problem. It'll go back through and, and relate all the different events to the actual uh, archive period that they're related to in the NX Witness system. So I've got all these cameras. Um, so if we look at um, access permitted, we have Jesse Chen arriving at 317.51. So I can choose that event and choose that camera, double click. Um, the client will open up with the video um, and you can see the timeline and everything. And we have, we have a, a slight offset. So there you go. Jesse Chen came in the door. So there's one example. Um, another one we can show you, Sergey, coming in. Let's do um, side doors this time. And same thing. So here's uh, Boris, or let's go Richard Fay. So it opens up. You can still do everything you do in an NX Witness client. There's Richard Fay entering the door. So I can still do this. I can still do the uh, image enhancement. I can do, um, uh, I can actually do the, the search too on motion. Uh, I can take a screenshot of that, right? I can um, turn the video still if I need to manipulate it. I can see the info in terms of how, what resolution and frame rate the cameras are recording at. Um, I can go full screen with this sucker. Um, do the fast forward and everything. The, um, the, the the buttons in the upper left also work um, in terms of playing and pausing. So those are those are control. This is something that Pax has left in there for us. Um, but you can also use the controls in the actual client to do all this. Uh, you still get thumbnails and all the um, the fun features that you. Oh, sorry, you don't get thumbnails. You get uh, a lot of the same features that you get in the full client. So it's really nice. Um, and that's the Paxton integration right there. You're done. Very simple, very powerful, uh, very easy to use.